This video is rated F for fun. Warning, please wear a helmet when riding your bicycle. Mountain biking is a very fun sport. As it has evolved, so has the technology. This includes the suspension, which smooths the ride of mountain bikes. They involve shock absorbers on, on both front and back on most mountain bikes today. According to the law of conservation of momentum, energy cannot be created or destroyed but only transferred from one form to another. In bike terms, this means that the force or the shock exerted by bumps in the trail do not disappear, but go directly into your booty. With suspension, that force is transferred instead into the shock. New suspension designs are, are being shelled out to improve plushness over trail bumps, while eliminating the dreaded pedal bob. What is pedal bob, you ask? Pedal bob is the bane of bicycle rear suspension. It is induced by chain growth, which is a phenomenon where the distance between the bike's rear axle and the crank increases as the suspension linkage compresses. This pulling back and forth compresses the suspension with each pedal stroke, creating a bobbing sensation. Not only is this annoying, it robs you of your energy and saps efficiency. Another cause of pedal bob includes Newton's first law. With each pedal stroke, the bike accelerates and the rider's weight is left behind. When the rider's weight is pulled along, it causes a downward force that compresses the suspension and also causes bob. Newton's first law states that objects at rest try to stay at rest, and objects with motion tend to stay in motion. In this case, the rider's body is object at rest, and when it's pulled forward, it violates the law and causes a downward force. Braking also has a big effect on suspension. When the bike stops, the rider's momentum wants to keep moving forward. This causes the fork to compress while braking, as is the only way for, mo for the momentum to go. This also applies to Newton's first law, except in this case, the rider is the object that is in motion and wants to stay in motion. And when the bike stops, the rider's momentum gets transferred into the fork. This is not really a demerit in, mountain, in a mountain bike, as brake dive can be used to strategically corner faster, but that will not be covered in this video. Many bicycle companies have tried to tune out pedal bob from their full suspension designs and none has done so better than the, than the company Mongoose. It, is a, it, it attempted to eliminate pedal bob with its free drive suspension and it succeeded. The free drive is featured on my Mongoose Tio Cali mountain bike. To do this, it sets out to eliminate chain growth completely. It also aims to be one of the most plushest designs around and, and, and succeeds. In order to, to achieve excellent plushness, the free drive has a very high main pivot because high pivots are the best at sucking up bumps. They create a weird rearward axle path that induces the least impulse on the wheel and the suspension linkage. However, because the axle travels backwards, a bike with a frame mounted crank would have massive chain growth as the, as the axle moves away from the crank. Impulse, in this case, is the total momentum change of the rear wheel. To get rid of the chain growth problem, the bottom bracket pivots on the mainframe, separate from the front and rear triangles. As the axle path moves backwards, it will also drag the bottom bracket with it, thus the distance between the axle and the crank remains unchanged, therefore eliminating the main cause of pedal bob. The th effect of suspension of the bicycle is not only limited to pedal bob and bump absorption, it can also be a friend or foe when doing tricks. This includes wheelies. In this case, suspension is undesirable. To perform a wheelie, one must lift the front wheel high into the air and find the perfect balance point on the rear tire. Suspension movement can make finding the sweet spot difficult. While in the air, your weight is higher up, increasing your gravitational potential energy. Suspension movement can disrupt this a lot more easily than if you were on the ground, and when you fall, you fall harder. If you're lucky though, you can catch yourself like I did, and avoid total humiliation. Bunny hops are another trick. Bunny hops is a tr are a trick where suspension is desirable. According to Hooke's law, the extension of a spring is in direct proportion with the load added to it. When bunny hopping, the first step is to load the spring that is your bike. On a rigid bike, that spring consists entirely of the air in the tires, which provides a low spring constant, which inevitably resolves, results in less air time. On a suspension bike, 
the spring is com in, in, is the suspension and the tires combined. This adds up to a higher spring constant, resulting in more air time and more ease in bunny hopping. As you can see, mountain bike mountain biking is an extremely fun sport. Not only is it fun, but also has interesting physics to it too. That means that you all should go out and try it sometime. And don't forget to wear a helmet, number one rule. Thanks for watching. You blind man!